All right, so it's not time for one of our favorites here on Friday Briefing. It's time to mind our language and learn the correct pronunciations of different English words. Uh, let me bring in Willis, the word master, joining us live from Kisumu. Willis, good evening. How are you? Betty, uh, from the start of Friday Briefing, that is tonight, you've just been killing it that is being on fire and that is a great talent and tell that young man he deserves a pat on the back. Thank you so much, Willis. I did not know I was killing it, but now I know. Thank you so much, Willis. And you're looking <laughs> like you're on fire with that red. I don't know if it's red or orange, probably red. Yeah. It's uh, red, but but you know uh, what happens sometimes. You remember, like what we had last week. Our fans, it's like they were feeling, oh no, what exactly happened? Yeah. But you see, at the end of the day, when it comes to Friday like today, I just have to be on fire too, just like you are. So before, without any further ado, let's just take a look at word on the street first, Willis. Daria, diphtheria, 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 diphtheria. Okay, so Willis, I won't even lie. I've always had a problem with that word, diphtheria, diphtheria, diphtheria. Um, what is it? How do you go about it? In the first place, Betty, this word refers to, you see, that infectious disease uh -huh. that causes some, you know, difficulty in breathing and because of, you know, it's a disease of the throat. Mm -hmm. And we say diphtheria, diphtheria. <laughs> you don't say diphtheria, wow. diphtheria, <laughs> and all that. You say Diphtheria. And Betty, for tonight, since yeah. you started by saying that it's like I'm on fire, uh -huh. <laughs> I want those, you know, students of linguistics to remember that we have diphthong, that is the dual vowel glide, like au, ai, air, and all that. But you can also pronounce that word as diphthong. It's diphthong or diphthong. So that is that. But our word on the street tonight is diphtheria. Wow. Diphtheria. Diphtheria. That's a surprise, Will. Dif diphtheria. Yes. So all the doctors out there, it's diphthe it. diphtheria. Yeah, it's quite a mouthful, but it's good to learn, Will. It's dip dip <laughs> well, diphtheria. 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 Wow. Diphtheria. Okay, Willis, I will not yes. even try, but I've gotten it. All right, Willis, so tonight I want also, Willis, to, for you to take it away. I want you to give us the words uh, from your end. And uh, as you do that, Willis, I'll also want you to talk about a word that I've seen quite a number of people asking on my Twitter handle. Fragrance, fragrance, uh, how do we go about that one as you prepare to uh, lead the way tonight? Can you say the word again, Betty? Fragrance. you can spell it, please. Fragrance or fragrance? So maybe when you're talking about some smell, some oh, perfume, perhaps. You can say fra, uh -huh. fra or fra, Betty. All right. Now, when we take our words, that is for tonight, because there are so many words coming in. You talked of my fans, Kibau, the other day, <laughs> and that really, really amused me, Betty. Yes. But there are so many, but we love it this way because it tells us exactly mm -hmm. how people are learning the correct or acceptable pronunciations out there. Right. Now, we say conscious. Okay. Conscious. Conscious. We should avoid conscious or conscious. That shears is not there. You say shears, shears, conscious. And conscious. Betty, in this case, we should also remember that we say fashion or fashion not fashion. <laughs> Shion is what we see, but you say fashion or fashion. So we should avoid fashion. <laughs> now we also say stadia. That is Willis. the plural of the word stadium. 
Yes, Betty. Yes, before we move on, Willis. So do we also say precious, precious, precious stones, precious stones? We say precious. Okay. Precious, precious. not precious or precious. <laughs> In other words, that I is silent. You say shas, conscious. Aha. Uh -huh. Conscious. Precious. Precious. Spacious. 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 I know many people are not used to that, but yes. when we talk about RP Betty or the English English pronunciations, uh -huh. we should know it is shas. Okay. Shun. Got or it. Shun, not shion. <laughs> so the plural of stadium yeah. is stadia. Stadia. stadia not right. stadia. Okay. Many people may talk of stadia, uh -huh. but remember, you can also say stadiums, okay. stadiums okay. as the plural. So stadia and stadiums are alternatives. Willis, you know... We also say to christen. Mm -hmm. Willis, you know I have to... Not christen, right, right. christen. Mm -hmm. Just to add on that one, Willis... Just like Betty, we say to listen. Okay. You seem to have a question, Betty. Just ask so that people can understand exactly what I'm explaining. Yes, just, just before ask the we... question first so that we can see how to handle it. Yes, so just before we continue, you also hear stadium. So how do you... So it's stadium and not stadium, as you commonly hear. Betty, what we see is stadium. Yes. Remember, we also have podium for what we see. Yes. But when we pronounce the two words, mm -hmm. you say podium, All right. not podium. You also say stadium, not stadium, not stadium. You say stadium. All right, but got the plural you. has, you know, alternatives, and there are two: stadia right. and stadiums. All right. Then All Betty, right. we say Christian. Mm -hmm. Very often you hear many people talking of Christian. That is locally, but that is not accurate. Mm -hmm. You say Christian to Christian a vehicle to give it a name uh. christened not christened and we say listen not listen so when you say christened yes it's like you are talking of also listened instead okay. of listened okay. i listened to the speech all right christened okay and you mentioned the name then we say leisure mm. leisure not leisure okay. not leisure uh -huh. you say le Leisure. leisure. And you should avoid also saying lesser. <laughs> but you know, there are people who talk of lesser, and lesser would be L E W -E S E R. Less, lesser. Okay. You so get what I'm talking about? I get what you're talking about, Will. So it's le leisure. Then, Leisure. Okay. Leisure. All right. And Betty, it's that time that Buru <laughs> from the other side of the camera, you know, that wonderful, he's also laughing and telling me what I know he's really surprised about that word lesser. Yeah. You know, somebody can say lesser <laughs> instead of leisure. So it's leisure. Now, we talk of from the cradle yes. to the coffin. The cradle to the coffin, not from the cradle. Okay. So. Don't say cradle, that is C-R-A-D-L-E. Uh -huh. uh, you say from the cradle to the coffin. So right. that letter A takes the sound A, not A. Uh. Okay. And better we also say an apple, an apple, Ap not an apple. It apple. becomes a problem, especially in schools. Uh -huh. Yes, many people say letter A for apple, which <laughs> is wrong. Okay. The letter is A, but the sound in that word is A. Uh. Just like uh. A, but you say arrow, an arrow. You can't say letter A in the word arrow. That will be wrong. Yeah. You can't say A for apple. That mm. is wrong. Okay. It is the letter, the name of the letter is A, but the sound is A. Uh. Uh. Then Betty, I'll go straight now because of time. I'll go straight to the feedback questions right. if you uh, don't mind. Right, let's yes. go. Let's we go have with George this. Awur of yeah. Arusha, Tanzania. Mm -hmm who wanted to know whether we say adieu, that's a very terrible word sometimes when it comes to like my mother tongue, uh -huh. A-D-I-E-U, uh -huh. you say adieu, adieu, that is to bid somebody bye or goodbye, uh -huh. you say to bid somebody adieu, not adieu, the way it is <laughs> written. It's a terrible one when you come to my <laughs> community. And we also have in the American English, Yeah. You may hear of I do, just like the A D O. But mm. the word A D I E U, George Owar 
Georgia War of Arusha, Tanzania, you say adieu. Then Alindi oh. of Naivasha, we say bureau, bureau. Okay. Many people say biru, the biru. <laughs> biru, no. You say bureau, the okay. bureau. Bureau. Then Francis Lopao, beguiled, beguiled, mm. not beguiled, beguiled. <laughs> Then Big Christina guide. Wanjiro, or Wanjiro for that matter, L-A-T-E-R is later. See you later, uh. later, L-A-T-E-R. Uh. But L-E-T-T-E-R, you say letter, letter, letter B, letter C, to yeah. write a letter. a letter. But when you say letter, that one, Betty, I know you <laughs> know what I'm talking about. Letter. That's trying to you have swag with home, this. Get me my sweater. <laughs> yes, I know. You, that one now comes to Betty <laughs> during Friday briefing. Po, then, you hear Poraro po, of so Wajir, potato. or Wajir, yeah, Poraro. Uh, <laughs> and you know, sometimes you may be called Ogeto. You're from Kenya, you've gone to, you know, the U.S. or any other part of the world which is away from home. Texas. But you're called Ogeto. Yeah. Then you also come back and say, I'm called Ogeiro. You're Ocheng. <laughs> You start saying, I'm called Oshing, Oshing, <laughs> Ogero instead of Ogeto. <laughs> anyway, it happens, Betty. Ogero. Say, Ogero. Accurate pronunciations mean a lot. Yes. Y yeah. Then we have Moha Funky of Wajir or Wajia, espionage, espionage. Espionage. And pretentious, pretentious. Pretentious. Espionage. That is, you know, that act of spying for another country. Yeah. Or, uh, you know, some military organization. Espionage. espionage. Don't say espionage. <laughs> espionage. Espionage. Yes, then pretentious. Pretentious. Mary Atieno, favorite, not favorite. Oh. My favorite dish. Okay. My favorite Fa show, favorite. not favorite or favorite. Okay. Ngove Edith, you say dictionary or dictionary. Okay. Both are acceptable. I like dictionary. Say dictionary or dictionary. Dictionary, I know why you like it. It because sounds, it what sounds you call really good. A swag. Yeah. I hear you calling it a swag. <laughs> it sounds yeah. great. Yeah. Betty, let me tell you something, and even our dear viewers. Uh -huh. Don't go for very stylish accent or pronunciation or mm -hmm. what you call swag. You strive to be understood when you speak by using accurate or correct pronunciations, not those that sound great. It doesn't make your communication great it may distort information. Got it. You understand that, Betty? I, a hundred percent. Mumbi Lilianita, we say colonel, not colonel. Colonel, so and so. And you also say lieutenant, lieutenant. Okay. But remember, All you right. can also say lieutenant. All right. But don't say colonel, it's okay. colonel. colonel. Then David Kumu, vulture and okay. voucher. All right, Willis, let's go straight. Not vulture. Yeah. Not voucher. Okay. Vulture and voucher. All then right. Now, surprise word. Surprise Betty. word. Yes, yes. I think we should go to that. Now, yeah. Betty, last week, this was our surprise word, but we didn't do it. Mm. So it's taunt. To taunt somebody. That okay. is, you know, to attempt, you know, to, you know, you're using unkind words to, yeah. you know, in an attempt to upset somebody and all that taunt. 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 But for tonight, I had this one for you. A very tricky one. And I know uh -huh. you like it. Betty. <laughs> this one we say furo or furori. Okay. Furo or furori. Furori. You can say furo, you can also say furo, but remember you can also say furori. Fu what we should avoid, especially in careers of serious communication, is talking about faro <laughs> or furo. Furo. No. Furo. Furo. All right. Furori. Or furo. <laughs> then finally, Got it. Betty, mm, yes. we have the confusing words. Okay. Really. Sitting. The upper word is sitting. Sitting. Sitting like, you know, sitting in parliament. Yes. Sitting. The lower word is seating. 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 And it's a very confusing one, confusing word for many people. Okay. It's now having the long vowel sound E. Seating. Like we seating. say, the seating capacity, the hall has a seating capacity of over 1,000. You can okay. also say 
the seating arrangements. All right. Seating. That is the lower seating. one. Seating. Seating. Don't say setting arrangements. Setting capacity, no. <laughs> seating. Seating means, you know, the seats yes. or, you know, uh, when you talk about a place or the places to sit. Yes. So, seating arrangements, seating capacity, but the setting in parliament, that period okay. when parliament does its business and all right. that. Right. But also the present participle of the verb sit. sit. I am sitting, not I am seating. <laughs> that is wrong. Willis. Wait. You are on fire. You know, you're a walking dictionary. <laughs> walking dictionary. <laughs> Willis, thank you. Betty, that is a big description for me. Just, you know, nobody's perfect, but we have to try. The only thing yeah. I would tell you everybody, try harder. always try to know what you're dealing with or dealing in, yeah. like the back of your hand. That is the best way to go. All right, Willis, thank you so, so much for our lesson this evening, it has been quite a lesson, but I like the word dictionary and furori. Yeah, those ones I'll go with it. We'll dictionary with them home. or dictionary. Or you can dictionary. Also say dictionary. All right, Willis, thank you so much. So those are the words then for the when weekend. When they want to reach me, Betty, tell them it's he, at? At Willis Cheng one That's how you can reach him on his Twitter handle and ask him. Yes, that is on Twitter. Any more Twitter. questions that you have? At least now you're set for the weekend with the right pronunciations of certain English words, words including diphtheria. All right, so we'll take a break. And uh, my colleague Moses Wahis is coming up shortly with spots. Don't go away. Thank <laughs> you.